is up guys welcome back to my channel i'm tatiana if you guys are new and if you love home decor lifestyle and motherhood then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on that notification button so that you guys don't miss out when i upload a brand new video today is all about this gorgeous accent wall that we did down in my little vacation home down in florida i'm absolutely obsessed with it and it was kind of a spontaneous last minute idea i came up with this idea because this main wall in my living room is so long and i tried various artworks and mirrors and just like different things that i could put on the wall and it just didn't look or feel right so i knew i had to do something just all along the wall and what better way to do that than with very subtle so it's tone on tone accent wall i did something extremely similar but with painter's tape it was just two-tone um, paint white and a very beautiful beige and you guys loved loved that video so it definitely inspired me to go ahead and one up that video with a 3d version it's definitely a lot more work than just putting up painter's tape and painting over it this included like two by twos i think or two by fours like nailed to the wall glue first glued to the wall nailed to the wall and then perfected sanded it was definitely a lot a lot more work but i'm obsessed with the results and it's just so custom and subtle but it's beautiful and ugh, i cannot say enough good things about it so here i am to show you guys exactly how my dad and i but mainly my dad put this gorgeous accent wall together so the first step of this process is creating the design it's extremely important because you want to have a really good foundation and rubric i found my inspiration on pinterest i found so many different designs and just picked the pieces and the elements that i loved and created my own there are so many ways to go about this but take your time and look at it from different perspectives because it will take you a minute or two to create something that you love These are the colors that I picked. They're all some sort of sage green, but I think we're gonna go with this one, which is the lighter one. Once you have your design laid out, you can go ahead and cut your wood to size. The way we secured the wood onto the wall was to add a strip of wood glue onto the wood and firmly press it against the wall. Then you're gonna to wanna to take just a couple of nails and nail that wood piece to the wall as well. This isn't going to keep the wood extremely secure on the wall. What is going to, and what you'll see later on, is that we're going to be caulking all, every single side and edge between the wood and the wall. And that's what's really going to keep it firmly and securely in place on the wall. Once you've got your design good, your wood is up glued and nailed to the wall, you're going to want to go in with spackle and fill in any imperfections that you see, any holes from the nails, any imperfection, go ahead and fill it in with spackle and then you're going to want to caulk all of the sides. You can see my dad doing it right here. He's caulking all of the edges, all of the sides of the wood while I'm sanding down the rest of the spackle. And then it should look like this. And this is the caulking product we used. Once all of that prep work is done, you are ready to go ahead and paint. So lay down your drop cloth, tape off all of the sides of the ceilings and the baseboards, and get going on your paint. You're gonna wanna give every nook and cranny a good solid coat, and then give the entire thing two even coats of paint.
that is it you guys i hope you love this exum wall as much as i do it is so beautiful and subtle like i said i love this paint color that we ended up going with i will leave whatever i can listed and linked in the description box for you i hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day god bless each and every one of you and i will see you in my next one